Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are doing um just a, a wig update. This is my watermelon wig mafia wig and I just wanted to show you guys how I take care of my wigs how i clean the lace part of it so you see that this lace has been through it so i just wanted to show you guys um the update with this wig how this wig held up for me um i haven't washed this wig after i took it off so um, the video that I did with this wig telling you about the what I like about it and all that other stuff I had that wig in for I had this wig in for about a month and after that I never put it back on so now I do kind of miss this wig and I do want to put it back on I've been taking care of wigs for about two years now so I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing um it i have worked on some things um not some things but i've been perfecting my craft on how to take care of them and i am learning every single day on the do's and the don'ts so this is the wig mafia wig i can't remember i know this was a 613 but um i don't know if this was like a 20 or um a 18 and i know it was a pineapple curl so yeah i recently just did a video and it might be up but i recently did a video on my pickable wig from ally grace hair um so i'm gonna put that video in the cards up so you can see that basically it's gonna be the same process but we're gonna see if this one does a lot of shedding like my ally grace hair now i've re recently um went on so now i'm gonna just comb it out but I'm going to do, I'm going to talk to you guys. But I recently went on their Instagram page and I seen that they really didn't have that many pictures up. And I seen that people still wasn't receiving their orders on time and it wasn't getting back to them. And I seen that a lot of people, um, some people were dissatisfied as well. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I'm not the only one that had a problem with their brand. Now, I know they recently just opened up a shop in Atlanta that also sells the hair. So, that is great. Um... Yeah. So, so far, I am getting shedding, but to be honest, you guys, like I said, I put this hair in, I want to say March, took it out in April and haven't dealt with it ever since. So the amount of shedding that i'm getting uh, sounds about right i mean i haven't really now with this wig i can say i haven't really taken care of this wig like i have my other ones um like my orange one but it's still thick and luscious i can say that and it's still, it's still soft. So I am combing it rough because the density of this hair is pretty thick. And I'm glad, that's one thing I can say about the hair. The density was thick, honey. So yeah. And like I said, I paid three something for this wig. So we're gonna see if the comeback is worth 300 now you can't get your money back you can only um get a new wig and get a refund so me combing it out after let me see 
I had my hair, I took my hair out in April, May, June, July, August. So four months of me not combing my hair and keeping it in a bag is this much. So yeah, that's four months worth. So we're gonna look at it on the inside. Now, I am, once I finish uh, taking off this stuff with the lace, the glue, I am gonna take this out, this out, and these, I really don't need the combs for it. But I wanted you guys to see, now this, glue is a little bit darker this is a transparent lace so it is a little bit darker than my original scalp which i am going to get the color back um this hair was also colored by um arctic fox so I'm pretty sure when I put it in the water, the hair, as you guys know, is going to curl up. So I'm gonna put it in the water just like that. I want you guys to be, I want you guys to be able to see the head now. On um, this particular wig, I really don't want my colors to clash. So I am just gonna put, um how it is right now and I am going to uh, tie it with because this is a longer one so let me get it closer yeah normally with like my short hair ones or my bobs I keep it in there but this one is longer and I really don't want to clean that up so yeah, we're gonna put it in just like this. Okay, as you guys know, I like to pour, um, oh, make sure your water, make sure your thing is filled up. So I'm probably gonna have to pour some more, but you know, I like to use Dawn dish detergent and soaking hot water. So I'm actually going to put, well, no, that's actually, I'll put a little bit more in there. Yeah, I'll put a little bit more water in there. So yeah, as I let this soak, um, it, it, I'm going to put some more water in here. So it's going to be filled, um, not all the way to the top, but a little bit. Probably it's going to be like feel right here. You want to make sure that when you are doing your lace, you want to have it, um, you want the water to cover your whole lace. Because if your water doesn't cover the whole lace, then you're not getting the top part of it and only the bottom part is soaking. So you want to make sure that your whole lace is covered in water from top to bottom. Now, um, if you haven't seen my other video on how I clean my lace, this is basically um, hot water from the stove. And I put Dawn dish detergent in there, the blue kind, and I just let it sit on top of the stove and then I poured it in. Now, it's different ways that you can do this. You can do it in the water in your pot. Me personally, I don't like to put my food, my hair stuff, or like anything mixed in with my food. Like, I just think that's nasty. So, that's why I do it in the sink. And the washing process of my hair, which I co-wash my hair and stuff, I do that in the tub. But I'm going to show you in the sink just so you can guys can get a good look at how I do um, as well. If you haven't seen my peekaboo wig and how I cleaned the lace off of that because it looks bomb. Okay, it looks so good. Like it's like a new lace. Go check that out. I will put that in the description and as well as the cards below. So... 
yeah i'm gonna the last time i let it sit for 30 minutes i'm probably gonna let this soak for about 45 minutes because it's it needs to come off like i don't know what kind of glue i used with this one but i know the glue was not good so i'm probably gonna let this sit for 45 minutes because it needs it so like i said i'm gonna put it on there for 45 minutos and so it's been about 45 minutes and as you see the water is green i had to put my comb on top of here because it was falling in so most of my hair has fallen in already which is fine i guess um but the water is still it's not that hot so as i take it out you see the gookiness uh, I'll leave it in there, but see how that look? Ooh, especially this. Ooh. So we're going to get that out of there. So what I like to do is I like to take my finger or a knife, well, really a bleggy, but. And most of the time when it don't come off, I tend to pull it forward, like into the hair forward. to be in my hair and the only reason why I say I want most of the glue to be in my hair is because when I co-wash it it's gonna come out with the co-wash so, yeah. and as you can see most of my hair fell in too and on top of that um most of the color of my lace because it was dark it came out as well So now I'm going to comb this out from root to tip. I'm actually going to do this in my tub so I can have more space. But when you comb, you want to comb root to tip. That's how much I got after... This is a lot more than my other hair that I had when it came to shedding. So now I'm going to take my favorite conditioner with my gouache curls. <laughs> This 
is my hair. Now with curly hair, I tend to put more and just let it saturate. <laughs> So I'm gonna let this sit for about 25 minutes. So 25 minutes is up. Um, I like to wash my hair out with cold water. different from curly hair and straight hair so this will be technically like um a two-day process i let my hair air dry so i'm going to let this air dry a hundred percent and then when i come back i'm going to put some moisturizer on it as well as some mousse on there so it can hold the curls because this is a pineapple wave and as you see it has curls in it and so in order for me to finish the rest of this i'm going to have to put some um let it dry now i think with this one i do want to keep the moisture in there so i might just go ahead and put the leave-in conditioner so that way it can dry with the leave-in conditioner on there. So depending on what you have, you can do leave-in conditioner. Um, I am going to do the curls, the Miracle Curls Frizz Tamer, just so it can um, tame the frizz. And I feel like with this brand, it's good for this type of texture here. So I can say I am getting more shedding with this hair than I did with my blue wig, even just running my fingers through it. But with my experience with wigs, curly hair do shed a lot more once it gets older, but um, this is shedding a lot, lot more um, than what I'm used to. I don't know if it's because I didn't take care of it when I took it off. I just threw it in the bag, which can possibly be my fault as well. But I mean, for a $300 wig. All right, that's all for this video. Like I said, this, um, I'm gonna let this dry overnight. I just wanted to show you guys the lace and what the lace is looking like now. As you see, it's not so brown. Um, I did get a transparent lace. So that's why you see it like this. It is still like pieces like that. It still is some pieces, which is gonna be like that because you're not gonna be able to get all of it, but you see that I got most of it. I will see you guys 